It really is. And you know what? The crazy thing is we teach all of that inside of the Kindergarten School Revamp. We teach you about co-authoring. We teach you about networking and connecting with other people to help your brand, uh, author shout outs and just doing marketing and everything. We teach it all. So that's the reason why you want to get a course, a D course, just because it teaches everything, you know? It yeah. doesn't give you just this one little bit. Like, no, it teaches you the whole system. You have the whole overview. You cannot fail if you put action into this stuff. Yeah, in a simplified, easy to understand way. That's the thing, too. So so, so, so now, for a person that's thinking about, well, how do I build up? Yes, you've got, and I, I'll see this every once in a while as well. Okay, I see that Seth is doing it, or I see that Brian or, or all of the other people that are in here that are posting the results and that are having amazing results with Kindle Publishing, they are doing it, but I can't because of X. And then they'll throw that, whatever that reason, which is really in their head is at the end of that. You know, they're doing it, but I can't because I'm not technical or because I'm too young or because I'm too old, yeah. or because I'm white or because I'm black or because I'm Hispanic or whatever it might be, or because... I'm outside of the United States, right? Or because English is not my first language. So all of these reasons why they can't do it. And at the very beginning of this interview, we talked about like you had this reason why you must do it. And that was even before having the course, right? So I think that in order to become this person that is successful at anything, you have to have a mindset shift. You have to actually become yeah. the person before you can get the fame. So can you talk about exactly. that? It seems like you're really great at that. Yes. And first and foremost, we actually teach that in the Kindle class for revamp. Yeah. Like Ty actually goes through that and teaches you everything like about the mindset because that's so true. You need to have your mind right to actually handle the success or it's not going to come. And if it does come, you're not going to know how to handle it. You have to have your mindset right. Everything starts from right here, just the mind. And whenever it comes to like answering your question, whenever it comes to everyone saying, I can't do this, I can't do that. I think everyone is just giving themselves a excuse on why they shouldn't be successful. Like at the end of the day, I had everything, everything in the world against me. Yeah. You know, I got discriminated. I have hard hearing. I got, I'm, I'm black and I get discriminated for that. You know, I got tattoos. I get discriminated for that. I didn't, I don't have a college education. I never had a professional job, man. I worked in a deli. I mowed lawns. Yeah. I, I was a burger flipper at Sonic. You were younger, right? Some people might have said, oh, I was young too. Yeah. You know, a teenager or whatever. You can't take them serious. Oh, shut out. I'm still young, but you know, <laughs> I was younger. <laughs> So, so I think that, man, it's like, it becomes, I'm like, man, you see so many other people. Like we got Mykia that's in the group, right? I interviewed her as well. She's from China, right? Yeah. She was, she was, she, she got started with the Kindle Castle program in China, while she was in China, did not speak uh, English fluently. Um, had so many obstacles with getting uh, started in so many different ways because she was also in transition to moving to the U.S. and getting married at the same time. And if, if you guys want to go in and listen to that interview too, it's also on YouTube. Just go in and find it. But this is someone that had every single reason not to be successful and she is kicking yeah. butt with it right now. So when I hear stories like that, all of the other excuses, because like you, yourself, right? I've had every reason not to make this work, right? You can always look for a reason or multiple reasons. Hell, you can look for dozens of reasons as to why it won't work for you. But if you have that one reason, you know, I, on our sales team calls, um, our team lead, Stephen Pierce, he said something the other day. I don't know if you want to call, but he said, if, if you have a, a reason that's big enough to do something, it's going to override all of those, those other reasons as to why you can't do it. Yeah, you don't have a reason that's big enough as to why you should do something, why you can do something, why you must do it. Then any other obstacle that comes into place is going to be at the top of the totem pole, and that's going to cause you not to be able to do it. Yeah, I, I one billion percent agree with that because, like, at the end of the day, it all comes down to how bad you truly want this. Yeah. If you really want it that bad, you're going to make success. Like, there's really no, there, there's no other way. Mm -hmm. If you want it that 
bad, you are going to make the success. You are going to stay with it. It's not going to happen overnight. It's not an overnight success. This is a brick by brick. I'm building a real business, making real results, getting real passive income. It really just takes some time and some learning. You have to get over the learning curve. But once you get over that, you can ask anyone successful. Once you get over that small little learning curve, everything is like unlimited potential. And you can really make anything that you truly want to make. And everyone that makes an excuse on why they shouldn't do it, they just need to recondition their mindset at the end of the day. Because I truly believe our brain is with us. Like it works with us, but it's also against us at the end of the day, because anything that you think of that could seem hard, your brain wants you to go the other way because this is easier. Like that's what our brain is designed for, to make sure that we're safe, make sure that everything is good, that we're not going into danger or going into something uncomfortable, right? We have to get uncomfortable to reach success. You have to do things you're not comfortable with doing sometimes, you know, like, I have to stay up a little longer. I have to do this. I have to put this time over here. I have to make sure the designer gets this. I have to make sure the the ghostwriter gets this. I have to send out these emails to the list. I got to make sure that I put these in pre-order. I have to do so much stuff. And these are things that to the normal person, they have to learn. And you have to really just, you have to just go for it, man. Your brain is going to tell you to chill. Your brain is going to tell you to, you know, watch Netflix. Because you're going to enjoy it a little bit more. Like that, your brain is with you whenever it comes to comfort and enjoyment and things that's going to make you more happy. But anything that's going to take you and, and break your craft, I always look at it like this. Like, why do we go to the gym? You know, what is the only way to actually build muscle? You have to break down the tissue that's already there. It's going to create a new muscle. It's going to keep building and it's going to keep growing, but it has to break down first. You have to feel pain first for it to grow. I always look at pain that it could be your best friend or it could be your worst enemy. You know, like pain has always pushed me to success because I let pain push me to success. I tell pain, you know, I'm going to use this as a flame. The reason why I need to go make this happen and not oh, my life is bad because I have this, or I'm going to go lay down and I'm just going to settle and I'm going to accept something I truly don't want. No, I'm going to go after this. I'm going to get it. I'm going to feel the pain. I'm going to feel that burn, right? Like you're in the gym, you're working hard, you're doing the cardio, you're lifting some weight, you feel the burn, man. It's burning down and breaking down the tissue because it's creating something new. It's creating something stronger, you know, something that has more resistance that you can stay in the game and keep going. And then eventually you can lift more weight. You can run longer. You can breathe better. You can do so much more, but it all comes down to breaking down that first thing that you have. And that's really getting out of that comfort zone. I really believe that comfort, you know, is a truly a dream killer. You know, everyone that gets comfort and less comfort that control their mind, like doesn't, achieve the success that they truly want to achieve because they just, they chill, you know, they don't do anything. They don't go out of their way and make it happen. And what we're saying is like, you have to, no matter what you feel, you have to make a decision to keep going after your goal, your dream. You have to have that clarity of what you truly want and make that decision every single day. There will not be a single day I don't make a decision to make my Amazon Kindle business better than the day it was before. I make that decision every single day. Seven years later, I'm still making the same decision. That's consistency. That means I want it so bad, I'm willing to die for this. Now, I'm not saying you have to to sit here and you have to die for this stuff. Like, I'm not saying that. That's yeah, just how bad I want it. I actually to pay for those types of issues like this, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm just saying, like, what I'm saying but, is you just got to want it bad, you know? Yeah.